uh, this is probably like the most like anxiety and like fear I've ever had in my life. Like, I can't breathe. get into Wakaiva Springs uh, for like the past hour. Half hour. Half hour. <laughs> it must be Dapper Day in Wakaiva. What is happening? Why is the line so long? Why are there people in the back of that truck? Don't you know it's not safe? Hi, how are you? Alrighty. Oh, look at the frog. Good change. Awesome, thank you. Uh, greetings, everybody. We're not at a theme park. The chic is back in town. I'm home. She is home. So we decided to take a little bit of a, a day away from the parks and uh, everything and just have a little bit of time for each other yeah. and for nature. Especially, I miss you, but especially nature. Yeah. So let's go and check out Wakaiva Springs. I've never been here. Um, well, we're, let's go have some quick adventures, though. So let's take a look. It says no diving or jumping. Very shallow water and submerged rocks. Alligators and other wildlife may be present. But if you look beyond, there's the springs right here. And everybody is just jumping in and swimming in. And I think it's like a warm water. Spring, I think. We're gonna go down and check it out a little bit more. So you gotta make sure you have this caution sign. It has alligators are present along the trails and waterways. They have been known to attack humans. So we got ourselves a boat. We're gonna try to get on the boat and uh, kind of go from there. It's a little rickety. I'm a little worried about the camera though. Hopefully we don't tip over. Hopefully. So we tried to get in a canoe and like. Uh, uh, this is probably like the most like anxiety and like fear I've ever had in my life. Like I can't breathe. Like when we're in the canoe and it's like rocking and it's like very close, like it's gonna tip over. Um, I mean, it's just I don't know. It just felt so dangerous, and I I just freaked out. I just freaked out. We just we're we getting out of the canoe. We're gonna try to do something else. I I I am like literally terrified right now. And uh, wow. Wow, like, I don't, I don't know what it is about that canoe, but it, it really, 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 like, that was like terror, complete terror. I don't want you to dive and jump because there's still areas that have rocks in them, and it's very shallow, so if you jump and hit one of these rocks, you could definitely break your leg quite easily. And look at all this forest here. So many spiders. Like spiders, they said there's like wolf spiders out here. Sometimes they come from above. There's a lot of damage from Irma. Like this tree is like uprooted here. You can see it's almost kind of almost blocking the path, but it didn't. So this is more of an archway that we could just walk and just pass through. It probably was. You see him still? He's yeah. Right no, I don't see it. He's right there now. He has a red head. If you lean down, you can see him. He's right there. And they're right there. Like right beyond that stick, there's a lizard. I don't think that's right a lizard. There. I don't know. What else could it be? I don't know. His head is red. I can see him from right here. He's literally looking at him. Oh, yeah. I'm looking right at him. Yeah. Does anybody know what that is? What is that thing? We're saying salamander, but he's staring right at us. So they have uh, the sign here. The bears are typically out on this trail here. Oh yeah, a lot. There are a lot. But it gives you like all the things that you need to do to protect yourself. Like you don't want to run because the bear will chase you. Speak calmly, stand tall and back away. So that way if you look bigger, 
they typically just kind of go do their things. But they're oh, very. They still come after you. Though. They still come after you. <laughs> Why well, had a bear cub chase me? But it's because I had oranges. Yeah. But pretty, pretty terrifying. Found another lizard I'm just sitting here on this tree stump. I don't know if I can get closer to him. Hey, buddy. He's gonna try to touch him. Oh, he gone. He ran away. They're inside the tree now. He's down there. Oh, there's another one right here. No, that's the same one. He ran out. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? He's telling us to back up. You want us to back up? Can I get your photo? Can I get your picture? Can I get closer to you? Oh, oh. <laughs> he ran. He ran. Yeah, I don't. I don't think kayaking or canoeing is for me, or at least like in a position where like I feel very comfortable in doing it. Poor baby. You Which is tell weird. Your story? I, I, I said something a little bit earlier about how like the whole thing was very terrifying and stuff like that. He was very anxious. It was very like completely. Um, Terrifying. And he is did that's... try, guys. He tried. I give him that, but he didn't have to. Yeah, I, I, I tried and I couldn't do it. Um, I think it was just kind of one of those like moments of just being like, overwrought with like intense fear, and it wasn't so much of like you know like whether I can swim or not. I can definitely swim. We, we, you know, uh, I don't mind that. Um, I just think it's you know because we're in the springs and you don't know what's in the water um kind of makes it very scary and i know that there was a moment like we were like canoeing and just just briefly and there's like just a bunch of um they were lily pads i think yeah like lily pads and stuff like that and, and I, I can see where i was going and we were like going further and further to like the lily pads and you don't know what's actually in the water so that 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 was really scary because you know with the canoes they just rock so like probably should have got a kayak because you probably would have felt more secure but i thought you were worried but about if i'm camera. like but it's still like very like even the though canoes you're don't move. i mean the kayaks don't move they don't move no because your bodies are completely so we would have gotten inside of it and your feet would have slid inside of it so you wouldn't have felt like you were on like a precipice mm -hmm. and then there's a part that circles your body so it's like you are the boat so our full body weight measures the boat does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. The thing with a canoe is you have to stay in the middle of it to prevent it from tipping. And um, rowing is very, very hard because if you've never rowed in a canoe before, which I'm assuming you have not, uh -uh. each person has to row on an opposite side. And when you want to turn a different direction, you have to kind of go harder. And you were kind of scraping the top of the water yeah. with a kayak the oars have, uh, it's on either side, so you're just doing this back and forth. And that's how you go. Canoes, I feel like they require a little more skill and you have to be able to steer a boat. And that's just me being raised around like that stuff, so. Yeah, it was, it was still very, very terrifying. The girls in the store thought he was freaking adorable, so they gave us a gift certificate, so I guess that works out. Yeah, so anxiety <laughs> is real, regardless of how you look. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was uh, that's pretty terrifying, and there's a lot of people still waiting to get into the park because they closed it down before we got in. So we're we're gonna try to do our next adventure. Sorry, this is like that whole thing just like dropped my my energy levels like really low. So I don't know. What do you guys feel? Uh, kind of a justified feeling? If you know, leave a comment below. Um, because yeah, that was uh, that was really nerve wracking. We decided to shift gears and just go to Top Golf. The last time I was here, they were still building it, uh, and I may or may not have broken in. But hey, we're here, like officially, officially. Decided to come down here on the ground floor, which is pretty cool. But I think the problem with like being down below is that you know everything is just kind of like level to you so it might be easy to kind of reach from here to all the way down there i mean especially with the t's 
Uh, a lot of people like to be up higher because the higher you are, the more further you have to reach. So, quite interesting. So we're playing the actual like top golf, which you gotta have to try to hit the targets to score points. Hello. Hi. You missed. Hey, but didn't hit no target. This is great shot. Which is good. That's three points. She can manage to hit that guy right in the cart. Oh, she got a good one too. And uh, it's in. Hey, good job, baby. Yeah, hit that driver right there. Scared the crap out of him. So she can in with a 20. 20. And then my game ends with a 98. Okay, this is what I think about you and your game. She's giving me the finger. All right, but that's it for us for now. It was a pretty fun day. It's a little bit of a short day, but my, my days off have changed, so <laughs> now it's like can't have like these full days. Um, so I guess we'll see you tomorrow when we do our next adventure, whatever that may be. Oh, it could be anything. It could be anything. All right, we're out. <laughs>